guys, we're One More Girl. I'm Britt. And I'm Carly, and you're checking out DevonRiley.com. Hey, I'm Devin Riley, and I am back at Capital X today. It's a little less busy, but there's still tons of fun going on. I'm about to go and interview One More Girl right after I get some lemonade. I'm here today with the two gorgeous girls of One More Girl, Britt, Carly. Hi. Thanks for coming. Oh, thanks for having us. When people initially hear this uh, name, they usually think that there's just one girl. Yeah. And then, and then they realize, oh, there's there's two of them. Yeah. What made you decide on this name for the group or for the two of you? Uh, we get that a lot, actually. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, one more girl is actually the name of a song, um, and it's one of our favorite songs, and it's written by one of our favorite writers, Patty Griffin. And um, our dad actually suggested. Yeah, he it. thought it would be kind of a cool, different name that we had a different name before this. And, and then my dad sort of suggested when our label suggested a name change. My dad came up with the whole "What about one more?" thing, and so we thought that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> and it just kind of stuck. It kind yeah. of stuck, and it was like kind of cool and different, and it definitely always seems to catch people's attention. It's a question we get asked a lot, and and that's a good thing, I think, because nice. it sticks in people's minds. What was the other name that you guys could have had? We were called Saving Grace initially, okay. like back back in the day <laughs> when we were 10 and 12. Wow. And um, that was the name that we just kind of, because uh, it just kind of stayed with us up in, all through our teens. And then when we got our record deal, um, there was a television show at the time called Saving Grace. And oh. there was a bunch of other things, so we just felt like it wasn't um, unique enough for, for us. And also for internet marketing, it wasn't as great because when you type in Saving Grace on Google or Yahoo or whatever, we didn't come up. And so one more girl, fortunately now when you type that in, it's the just thing that pops guys. up. Yeah, so it was awesome. seemed to make more sense. Well, you guys have had a lot of accomplishments in your music career so far. There's been number one singles, you've won <laughs> some awards, you've toured with some really big names. Do you ever find it overwhelming or do you ever feel like you're missing out on things with your friends and your family? Um, well, I think for That's Carly and I, yeah, that is a really good question. For Carly and I, though, we kind of grew up in, in this business. I mean, yeah. we weren't always performing like this, but, uh, for example, we've been acting since we were two and four. So we kind of grew up in the entertainment business. And missing birthday parties. Missing birthday parties and, and like, having to travel a lot yeah. and... Um, so that's kind of been the norm for us. Okay. Also, I think it helps because we're on tour and we're doing all this stuff um, together, like sisters. It's it is still um, we still feel yeah, like we feel get to travel with our family. Like our dad is here with us right now. Our mom comes with us almost all the time. I feel sorry for like artists that have to do it by, by themselves. themselves. I know like, we always say because we we <laughs> couldn't get by on just alone, and we have each other. We're you know, I have my sister with me, so it's, it's it makes it I think, easy. like, what do you and do our when band you're is in like our hotel friends. by yourself? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We make it, it watch TV. <laughs> and, like, yeah. You know? Your new album, you're recording it right now. It hasn't been released yet, has no, it? No, no, Do you have a date of when it's going to be released, and what can fans expect to hear on this new album? Um, well, we started working on the album at the beginning of the year, and um, we put a lot of a lot of work into it. We did so much writing last year. In yeah, Nashville. that's one difference between this album and the last one is this album will have a lot I more I mean, mind you, the last album, our, our first album, we started recording when we were like 14 and 16 or 15. Yeah, we were a lot younger. Yeah, 17 or something. And so we didn't, we weren't as comfortable with putting our own music on there. Our writing. Our own writing. So we used um, other people's songs. And this album is a lot more personal because it is all of us. Yeah, so, we've got a lot more life experience under our belt. We've, mm -hmm. you know, we feel like we've done a lot of growing and learning. Of uh, we've done a lot of writing. Um, the album we're hoping that it will be out at the end of this year or maybe the beginning of the next year. Do you guys write your music based off of the experiences that you've actually been through yourselves? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think that's always the easiest way to write is when it comes from you. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you know, we've written songs about friends before. We've written yeah. songs about our friends' love lives and, yeah. like, things like that. But, um... Most of the... I find the we best have, material like, a song we have that's is... word for word something that happened to me in my life. Like, 
literally word for word. Yeah. So it's it's pretty honest. <laughs> yeah, honest. I think the best songs that we've written are my favorites are the ones that are come from our real life experience. And you know, I find that the songs that we've written, and I'm just, I'm so excited to put these songs on an album because I feel like they're so strong, and like that's that's what I love about them is that the honesty is so strong, and it just hits you so hard. It's easier to sell something when you believe in it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely. So true. So I think people will be able to rock out to it. <laughs> so how does the writing process work with you guys? Do you kind of work together on songs, or do you write them individually and then come to each other and be like, hey, what do you think about this? We tend to write together most Mostly, of the time. Yeah. There are times like sh um, when she's come up with something and come to me and be like, yeah. you know, let's figure this out. And or vice versa. Whatever. She'll say Same thing. melody or whatever. But, but most of the time we, we figure it out. We bring the song together, the two of us. So. And even like when she's not there, I feel like she is. I There's this one song that we that we didn't write together, I wrote it with another writer, and it's called Wired, and um, when we do the song live, I always say, this is a song we wrote, and I always forget. I always like, have to correct you, like, no, no really, I didn't write that, I did. and I, I always forget, because I feel like we kind of are a package deal, and, yeah. and whatever my name is on, her name is on too, so. Now, you mentioned that you've done some acting in the past. What made you pursue singing as opposed to acting? Uh, well, we're still, we still act, and um, okay. the only problem is these days is that we're Scheduling. concentrating <laughs> on our, our singing, so it's been a little difficult to do both of them at the moment. So. I don't think it was a conscious decision to just And yeah, we never decided, anymore, okay, we're going to take a break. It just kind of happened. We got, yeah, yeah, we got a record deal and recorded an <laughs> album, and then it was like, kind of, we just didn't, we weren't around anymore and uh, to, to go to auditions. But and, I know we'll absolutely get back into it, for sure. Um, they're, like I've been doing it my whole life. I can't imagine not not acting anymore. So and hopefully at some point we can tie the two together. If you had to listen to one song on repeat for the next twenty four hours straight, what song would it be? Oh yeah. Oh, this is so hard. Oh, I wish I could grab my. Phone. I'm trying to think of like what's the last song I listened to. Um, what song is just like in your head nonstop? Do you well, say? right now, well, we, we just went to see Katy Perry okay, <laughs> concert nice. in Winnipeg. It was nice. like a real spur of the moment decision. So um, we've been really obsessed with uh, her music in the yeah. last few days because <laughs> we, she was so great live. So I would say I'm giving you two answers. Mainstream song, either. I would think thinking of you, Katy Perry. Mm -hmm. It's nice. such a good song. Good song. <laughs> or um, uh, Patty Griffin, Goodbye. Oh. I'd say, <laughs> this is going to sound so weird. <laughs> you guys probably won't even know the song. <laughs> but um, Green Onions. Oh my gosh. Brooke is such a dork. I, I mm. listened to it I, since I was little. My dad introduced me to Brooker T and the MGs <laughs> when I was very little. And I became obsessed with the song Green, Green Onions. And, and I always always listen to it in my car and I like I do like um air organ and I oh and I <laughs> pretend to play it so that's my nod so you'd be doing song. like air organ for 24 hours straight yeah, yeah. and I would have no problem with it I love I love jamming to that song I've never heard it so I'm definitely oh you have on to YouTube. go and download <laughs> it in the first like 30 seconds you'll know the song it's everybody's oh yeah it. okay. it's, it's, it's a really well known song, song okay. but yeah I'm definitely gonna check it out probably yeah. not a, <laughs> not a lot of people our age would know it yeah <laughs> Any celebrity crushes? Oh, yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Um, well, I'm really into Ryan Gosling right now because he has oh. that movie coming out. Crazy. Yes, you go, like, you have phases with him. It's weird. She she goes through phases with like, him. Like, love him. Although, oh, Charlie Hunnam from, oh, oh, from my goodness. Sons of Anarchy. Yes. Oh, I totally so forgot. Cool. Thank you. Um, Charlie Hunnam. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, I'm going to steal that one. And that one's mine. You can oh, yeah. but, my, but my actual <laughs> legitimate, like, I don't want to even say his name because I'm scared I'll ruin my opportunity. <laughs> is Jared Falwell from Kings of Leon? He's the bass player. Yes. So so pretty. I'll just like cut this little part out. Yeah, and don't like this on there. Yeah. Well, because I'm so scared he'll be like, like, like stalker. I don't care if Charlie Hunnam sees this. Yeah. But please date me. I know. <laughs> He's pretty hot. So. Yeah. Any guilty pleasures? Um, Justin yeah. Bieber. Guilty Justin Bieber. Um, <laughs> the Bachelorette. Bachelorette. Oh yeah. Oh. Bachelorette for sure. sure. So JP. Oh, I, he's for sure going to win. Yep. Oh, my guilty pleasures are um, 48 Hours Mystery, Dateline, and oh. Old Case Files. It's like sick. That, She's that obsessed with anything to do with crime. Oh. She loves it, oh. and she, she, it's twisted, actually. You make me sound like a weirdo, but it's, I'm not. It's, she's very dark. Like she's, she's this little bubbly blonde, but... but behind closed doors. Behind closed doors. We're in the hotel, and I'm like, like, shh, 48 Hours Mystery. And then, of course, after it's over, she's all scared and doesn't want to sleep alone and is just freaking out up all night. And I'm like, why do you do this to yourself? And she's like, I just love it. 
<laughs> it's, it is. It's a sick obsession. I don't know what's wrong with me, but it's really good. What's my guilty pleasure? I, I, I can't think on the spot. You have um, to think. Just, well, you, you've been pretty into Justin Bieber. Um, I think Justin Bieber is everybody's guilty pleasure. Exactly. But at least you guys will admit it. So. Oh, I have zero problem with that yeah. at all. I just bought his perfume, actually. It smells really good. It does. Um, <laughs> you don't really have any other guilty pleasure. Does it have to be to do with, like, entertainment? I don't know. No, anything. She like... tweezes her eyebrows a lot. Okay, there you go. Oh, oh, I do have a guilty pleasure. Oh. Deodorant. Oh, just re reapplying? Okay, so I was talking to a friend about this the other day. Um, I like I love different smells. And do you ever go to like the drugstore and you go and you smell every single deodorant until you no, find it? Nobody purpose? else on the okay, world. Okay, so you does probably that. don't do that. No, I, you know what? There's actually probably some people in the world who do that because I'm a freak about smell. I love like. Stuff that she has, she's really kind of good. a freak about skincare. Okay, a little smell, bit. That's anything totally like guilty cleanliness. Yeah, it's really like weird. She's hygiene. like hygiene. Very... I'm I'm really weird about hygiene, yeah. and I love deodorant, so I always like go and I smell every single one. This is the gossip session with Devin Riley and uh, one more girl. <laughs> <laughs> What's one thing that you want to accomplish within the next year? Hmm. Um, uh, I'd love to headline her on tour. Yes. I'd love to uh, headline her on tour. Yes, um, and live on a tour bus. I'd also love to open though for somebody that we admire, I, like Katy Perry, so possibly, or Gaga. Oh, we're obsessed with Gaga mm. too. Love Gaga. Um, yeah, and I and or I Keith just, Urban. It's something I, I I really want other people to um, hear the songs that we've written and love them. Yeah, we <laughs> just want to tour and be on the road. I hope we're living on a bus for the next year. This is One More Girl. Check out my website, devinreilly.com, for more interviews with your favorite artists, or you can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash devinreilly. Faster, faster,